inside the home, painted timber is the main culprit. Things like windows and doors, skirting boards and kitchen cabinets are all within reach of small children. While on the exterior of some older homes, just about everything is painted, which makes for a lot of paint and a lot of lead. Now peeling paint like this is a problem because lead paint actually tastes sweet. If a kid puts it in their mouth, there's a very good chance they'll go back for more. Even a piece this size could significantly increase the lead levels in your child's blood. But it's not just the peeling paint that's a problem. Surfaces subject to friction, like windows and doors, can be a source of lead. General wear and tear on painted surfaces releases the dust particles into the air, which contaminates household dust. This dust can collect in places like window wells, places that kids have easy access to. Of course, most dust settles on the ground, so old carpets can be a source of lead too. The backyard is another major source of lead. This is where children may come into contact with contaminated soil. In young children, this is usually ingested as a direct result of hand-to-mouth contact. Toys and play equipment can also collect dust and dirt, increasing a child's exposure to lead. Dust and dirt from outside is constantly being transferred into our homes on our shoes. And family pets are good at bringing outside dirt into the home too. Their coats easily collecting and carrying dust everywhere they go. 